even though our season is like very long, our season we're going for right now is like from January to June. That's right. Uh, because of like the whole Omicron breakout, we didn't have tournaments in the beginning of January, and then also all our locals, we kind of just once we were coming back, we only had this one monthly for a few months and no other weeklies. But the past few weeks, we got all our weeklies back in every region, so our season is looking a lot more interesting now. And that's a kill right off the bat. Uh, Darling starting out with the Fox pick. Uh, Ooh, snags him. I think it's mostly just to try it out, see how it goes. Yeah, he's got two sets to burn. Yeah, but this set is, to burn, technically. Yeah, this is the matchup where it's going to be. Uh, it might not be as, as easy as, <laughs> as uh, some other matchups he plays with Fox. I mean, in, in Winners, we saw him basically just run through a straight 3-0. Yeah, so... I mean, everyone knows Darling Flipsy as a Icy's player, right? Icy's yes. player famously, once again, as I said before, beating Mango. He did beat Mango. Beating a bunch of other players, was top 100 one year. Very well-known player, pretty well-known player throughout like the, the world, you know? And always been a top contender over here. Um, but his Fox has been like, you know, his Fox is insanely good too, and it's not showing as much here, and that's more of a... That's more of like thanks to how, or more of because of how good Equilateral is at this matchup. Dude, EQ is so good at this matchup. It's yeah, it's so good. He's so but like he's his boss just... is very easily, insanely technical, insanely fast, insanely. His box is very good. Like it didn't show there, obviously. But don't so, doubt, don't doubt, darling box. So here's the story, right? Uh, how, what did Peach Peach Pants one? Three game? one. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the story, right? Uh, yes. Darling had a fox for years specifically to deal with the Peach matchup and then took that over to their other matchups. Yeah. Uh, when, once once uh, Wobbling got, uh, you know, agreed upon yes. that we're not doing it. And by the way, for those at home, there is an automatic uh, grab release in, in this version of uh, Melee that we're playing on. Yeah. So that uh, he could go for the, the three grabs and then it will auto release. Yeah, the flippy code. I'm... Darling is flipsy. Yes, you're right, Branka. Oh, gets the back air. Okay, EQ already down a stock and he's on the ledge right now. He's having trouble getting back in from what? From the edge. I like that up B, but still getting edge guarded. Thank you. Thank you. another stock for Darling. Yeah, this, I mean, we, we watched this earlier in Winners Finals, and uh, gonna be honest, it was not very close. Some of the games were, you know, down to last stock, but it was a 3-0, and it, it just looked very, uh, it just looked very convincing for, yeah. for Darling. Um, like I was saying before, uh, I feel like uh, EQ's only chance to kind of get redemption this evening was if, you know, it, he had the time to study, but we've seen him been playing, you know, since he lost. He hasn't had time to get back into the lab. Yeah. So. Definitely a matchup to study. Definitely some sets to watch for him if he's, you know, go back for this. and Because it's something, you know, he's he, living here, you're going to have to worry about it. This is probably not the first time they're going to play this the rest of the season, so. No. So this is definitely... So starting off not great, and the Sopo might even be able to take a stock with F tilt. I don't know if I've ever seen a stock taken with ice, with Sopo F tilt. Don't uh, try not to get four stocks. F smash will do it. All right, fantastic. Uh, EQ's on the board, but oh my God, he's doing the swag handoffs. He knows 65 viewers in the chat. He's got to show off. <laughs> Oh, oh. with a good DI there, not to get hit by that. <laughs> that was that was gonna be nuts, though. Yeah, EQ kind of saw the the ice climber up top and was like, I'm just not gonna DI that way. At least that's what I see. Unless he just nice. Oh, that would happen. And that should be with the with the hog. The oh, he misses his back air. Yeah, that back air is back air is such a weird hitbox. It uh, is. Icy's back air comes out like kind of slow, and it's. It's a good hitbox, but it, it's kind of slow and, and here we wonky. go. 
69%. Nice him. enough number. The fun, the funny number, as they would say. Up tilt, backers. Oh, manages to grab it. Very good recovery. Oh, and there's the the tag team smash again. <laughs> yeah, those attacks. One do one. So much. And there's two of them. Yeah. Yeah, those double smash attacks are just the better ICs. They make ICs so much better. Their smash attacks are very good. And EQ opting for this stage again. Personally, you know, after losing two games last set on this stage, I would like to see a different pick. I would like to see a Yoshi or Fountain pick, maybe. Uh, he knows much more about Marth than me, so I'm not going to say I'm in the right. But personally, that's just what I think. But starting off strong, as long as he can kill this Sopo, which he, it has proven to be a little bit difficult, but that could be it. That was a solid stock. Yeah, definitely playing pretty clean right now. Hope we can keep it up for and maybe make this set a little bit more even. And there it is, the automatic grab release. In the olden days, that would have been lights out. <laughs> yeah, but right. here we have technology. We can do better. We can make him faster and stronger. <laughs> we can keep them from <laughs> getting the infinite. Yeah, I don't know if I like the modded change to it, I think. But, who knows. Yeah, I definitely like the ability to like accidentally have the Ice Clapper player to get too many pummels, and then I can just go to the judge and be like, DQ! DQ! He got me four times! <laughs> Give me the no, game! I, I just, I remember like, I, I think it's fixed now, but I remember there being like some weird glitches with that code. It's probably fixed now. It's yeah. not Slippy, so I trust Fizzy with my life. Oh, that ledge grab! I don't know if he meant to do it, but it was really sick. Or, or here's the deal, right? You play against an Ice Clappers player, and you're just like, hey, I gentlemen still allow you to wobble, but don't tell them that the code is on. So they keep on going, and it just keeps on dropping after three. <laughs> Why? Why does Fair do that? Why did that work that way? Yeah. I thought that was really funny looking. It's a dying for it, but... That was like, uh, he's doing his work whittling down the Ice Climber shield, you know, the multiple shields. The shields, plural. Yeah, their shields can make it so difficult to approach them sometimes. And there's sure. the, there it is. I'm not sure if I like DQ jumping instantly there out of hit stun. It's a habit that a lot of us have. I know I do that all the time where I just, as soon as I'm out of hit stun off stage, I jump. But I would like to see him maybe save his jump and go for a lower recovery. Do we know what makes Nana just like taunt randomly like that? Uh, I think she has like some kind of, a, she wants to do it either after taking a stock or after dying a lot of the time. It's why you see when ice climbers come down from the spawn platform, they always side B. Yeah. Because I think that like somehow stops Nana from doing it. If you like do it at the right time and something, I don't know. It, they're such a weird character. Yeah, ice climbers is strange. I want to say I know that stuff, but I could be 100% wrong right now. This game's made out of spaghetti, anyways. Exactly. <laughs> That wow, that cool, that up tilt did su or such a good job, just like splitting the ice climbers. Yeah, I wasn't. I would never have expected that, that to work out. Like just kind of hitting on ice climber shield like that. Okay, I that's right. I'm liking the spacing from equilateral, but then he kind of runs in. Ooh, Nana might be big dead. tipper no. and manages to save Nana, but to what end? He's dead anyway. Yeah, dead anyways. His charge out smash was horrifying right there. Oh. Oh my god, that was such a good bait. Unfortunately, he doesn't get anything for it. I really want to see Equilateral take a game against the Ices. It would be his first one today in two sets. It's pretty close. 
You just gotta get the right hitbox there. Yeah. This should be it though. All you just gotta do is rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be it. Alright, didn't get the big tipper, but like earlier, but ends EQ, up, just up to one. Repeating. That uh, Fox game might come into to haunt, you know? Might it come in might come in to haunt Darling in a big way. Alright, yeah, this could be this is grand final, so even losing this set, Darling has another one. True, he's not Morbin on him. That's oh right. My God. He is now Michael Morbius, the the guy, not Michael Morbius the vampire. We need to see him truly morb out. I love the part in the movie where they say it's Morbin time. Yeah. Oh, spot touch? Spot touch again? That's some funny stuff sometimes. It's the way. This matchup is. It's so interesting. It's like, it's so different than, I feel like it's different than a lot of Icy's matchups because Marth's hitboxes are, are like, just the way Marth works, kind of, I feel like it makes separating a little bit weird compared to most matchups. All right, here's some nice responsible punish game from, uh, you, oh, and he drops it <laughs> right as I'm about to compliment him. That should be a recovery though, gets a ledge. Down smash, I feel like the down smash that the, that was a great back did was, uh, It felt like it was kind oh. of... I don't the want to say... The double tap. No, I'll just give up. I was going to say something, but I give up. It's already long gone. Hey, sometimes the moment just disappears. Yeah. F yeah, so we'll take it. And, yeah, I, I mean, FD being a good stage for ICs, typically, they're pretty good at sharking opponents. And, you know, without a platforms to move away from them, they can have some pretty scary attacks with a blizzard and their wave dash smash attacks. Definitely a very grounded character, a very wave dash heavy character. Oh my God, Dead here? Okay, ends up trading there and lives. Smash decks are so scary. He has Nana. Uh, Nana was in a kind of good position, but you know, he's, he starts going for the Nana and Popo comes behind. Down throw up smash. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this could be the tournament. Darling's right running away with this. Yeah, it's very likely could be the tournament right now. Down smash. It's going to set him off. Mm. Oh <laughs> my god, how does that even. When there's what? both when there's both of them, it's so much faster. Thank I don't you, even Logan. understand. Yeah, thank you so much, Logan. That means a lot. Uh, I don't even understand how that was like goes the verticality of that. It's when there's two of them, they have so much you never see it with both of them because it's usually just it's one. just not as good. Yeah. But when there's uh, like when there's both of them, they go so much higher. Oh no, he died. Oh, Oh wait, no, this goes to game five now. Yeah, it does. I've, I, I don't know why I thought this was already game five. <laughs> nope. Okay, so we go to game five. This is not over just yet. Equilateral has another chance. He has a counter pick. I'm very interested to see what he'll pick because I thought that he should pick Yoshi's before. We'll see if he does that now or if he does something else. Everyone's saying, well, I think <laughs> they, they're reacting to... Yeah, the helicopter. Battlefield? You ever see that meme where Squidward turns into a helicopter? I think so. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. There's oh, he's a, Morbin out! Now he's it's Morbin, Morbin time, out. baby! This is this is even scarier for Equilateral now. He's out for blood. Can he take it to a second set if he's getting Morbed on? I can't believe he didn't ask either. Wizard so good. It's me, Michael Morbius, star of the hit film. Morbius. You're about to get Morbs on. So which of the climbers is Morbius the vampire and which of the climbers is Morbius the man? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I think Nana's the vampire. 
Yeah, probably. Just a little go night goblin just like hanging yeah. out. Dare I say even a mind goblin? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Ice blocks. Those are such a weird projectile. Down throw smash once again. Yo, the du the double ice climber side B is uh, very silly. Is that gonna be the kill, or is he gonna make this recovery? I think. Oh, up tilt. That was not what I was expecting, but it was very smart. I thought he was going to go for a fair and try to combo him off the stage, but he was left up. Yeah, he's off stage. Equilateral's recovery is really good right now. He's like not letting Darling get much off of off of the uh, edge guards. He's at least like giving himself a few more chances. It was very important. Shows up. And once again, another sweet spot to the ledge, and up air on stage ends up actually working. Ooh! The double down smash. EQ's doing a patient game here. It's not quite enough though. Okay, it might be. Oh, oh my god! Get up attack to F smash? Alright. That was like hand off of hitboxes. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way he drifted with those moves. I like how patient EQ's being with these, uh, the, his aerials, you know? Yes. But it's just like every single time he loses any trade there's just so much more you know melee to be played oh god <laughs> yeah i had to work that one in there but it's, still though it's it's true it, there's like a there's still so much to be done like every single one of these trades benefits darling so much more than it benefits him Oh, and he tries for the EQ, but of course, Darling has seen it already, and he was prepared. <laughs> he's, you can tell that he's like kind of learned, he's definitely learned a lot from the, between this set and, and last one. Yeah. All the games have just been so much closer That's now. the craziest thing about uh, EQ is his ability to just learn on the fly. Oh. A little bit of a mess up there. But yeah. This could go to last stock. It's, it's close enough to it. But, uh, oh, there's so much damage from Darling. Could be it. This could be the tournament. Not, Not if, quite. Not if Flipsy just throws away Nana. Yeah. Or Darling. Flipsy. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, Darling shield on, uh, you know, t walling out Mars pressure with his, like, perfect shielding. Honestly, kind of insane considering how small that shield was. Collateral still has a chance. He's at 90%, which is yeah. scary against Icy's because of the smash attacks. That's right. Like a lesser Ice Climbers player would just be gunning, growing in, going in guns blazing and trying to end this right here, right now. But there's a reason why Darling's one of the best. One of the best to ever do it, even. I'd say he's one of the Icy's players of all time. Certainly one of them. All right, and here we have it. Last lock game. Can we bring this into a set two? Or will this... <laughs> I, we, I think we might have our answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a little anticlimactic, but what a way to end the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, the inaugural Florida Melee Circuit winner, or excuse me, not winner, Flor uh, the winner of the inaugural Florida Melee Circuit event, Darling, the player formerly known as Flipsy, is here winning the game over Equilateral. Yes, that's right. South Southwest Florida has taken it over uh, Tampa. And we have it. Flipsy over, over EQ. Excuse me, Darling over EQ. Yo, Darling, would you like to hop on for an interview or are you uh, heading out? All right, excellent. So ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Twitch chat, if you will stay tuned, we're gonna have, uh, oh, we're gonna bring the commentator on. If you will stay tuned, we're gonna have 
our champion, uh, Darling, hop on the bike, and we're gonna see what they've got to say about the situation. Am I hopping on here? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Slap that bad boy on. How's it going, man? How's it going? I'm so bad now. Going oh. pretty good. Look at this. What's going on? Look at the chat. I can't. I I don't have my glasses on. I can barely see. There's the more tag. Oh, uh, that's pretty funny. Oh my god, that's very funny. Oh, yo, check it out. Check it out. So, Stockholm was the reigning champion for a very long period of time, right? Yes, sir, yeah. Stockholm is on vacation for the rest of uh, the event. Mm -hmm. But look at you. This is your first match of conscience, is it not? Yeah. yeah so now sure. you're undefeated, perfect score, one and one. Pretty good. And, and now you're the first person, other than Stockholm from West Florida, so the second person, I guess, to be a champion. How does it feel? Um... Feels like another day in the park. Oh. Gotta keep it going. Yeah. You're gonna have to get used to me doing these interviews with you, Nate. You're gonna have to be doing these a lot more than. Absolutely, absolutely. I hope to I see you at more events. Yeah, yeah, it's just getting off of work. You know, I had to switch yeah. to my coworker today last minute. Didn't even know if I was gonna come, so. Yeah. I'm glad I did, though. I'm glad I got everything off. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it. I'm sure, you know, you got a nice little chunk of change for your trouble. Yeah, you I was know? surprised. Speaking yeah, of. Nice tournament. There was more at stake here. Than normal. It wasn't just cash. You were playing for points for the melee circuit. Yes, sir. For the smash. Uh, what's it called again? The off the Florida the melee circuit. Florida melee circuit. The FMC. FMC. That's right. That's gonna be uh, a giant thing. I think everybody in Florida is gonna be excited for. Honestly. Yeah. Are you trying to uh, compete? Go for the gold? Are you trying to represent West Florida? And that, uh, or are you just like showing up for? You know what? I'm still here. I'm still kicking ass. This is my this is my house. But maybe not going for the gold. A little bit of both. I mean, if it's the opportunity's there, I'm going to take it. Yeah. There's not that many people left in this region who could give me a solid challenge enough to beat me, but there are a few people from the other regions that could definitely give me a hard, way harder challenge. And, Absolutely. But that's the whole thing of regions, you know? Yep. Everybody well, that's the them. whole idea of the Florida Melee Circuit. For those of you in Central Florida, South Florida, or North Florida watching, the entire purpose of the Florida Melee Circuit was to encourage you guys and the folks, the fine folks from Chicago who decided to tune in this evening, if you guys want to join us, we're not going to say no. In fact, we're going to say come on down. But if you guys want to join us here at the Magic Conch or any other events, we're going to be joining you guys at yours. We're trying to, you know, look at this guy. Darling needs some competition, okay? He just ran through this bracket. Absolutely stopped everybody. EQ had a pretty solid comeback in, Very in solid. from losers. How, what, I'd like to t t talk about this because, like, how crazy is that guy's ability to adapt? In the first set, you had his number down pat. And then mm -hmm. the second set, it looked like he was beginning to or figure you out a little bit. Oh, you know? for sure. Were he, you sweating? He, uh, it definitely got a little bit worried, but I'm pretty confident in my ability in those situations. Yeah. I, I knew since he was still learning the match about that time, I could abuse a few other things that he wouldn't know at the time that I could just easily get the dub. But give him a few more times of playing me, he'll yeah. instantly get there, I'm sure. He's a dangerous dude. Oh, for sure. All right. Well, I guess, you know, this is another Magic Conch in the books. We got a new champion. Uh, Darling, do you have anything that you want to promote, like a Twitter, YouTube, anything like that that you're, you're up to these days? Just want to spread peace and love or something like that? A message for the people at home? Yeah, I'm not up to much, you know. I'm just doing my thing, RuneScape, Guilty Gear, Melee, whenever That's I right. have a chance. You're, what is that, number six in the world, uh, Master Clues? Uh, number n Something like that. Yeah. Number nine all, all time clues. For those of you who don't play RuneScape, that's actually insane. Like, this dude's good at melee, but he's not. He's a multi-game threat. I'll, that's all I'm saying. He's, he's nuts. Video <laughs> games are fun, man. They're yeah, fun. video games are fun. They are fun. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, man. Congratulations on your win, and congratulations on your points, and uh, I think we're going to start wrapping it up. I think so. Kevin, it'll, can you get a Deej? It'll be good to see you again, Jared, man. Love to see you here, bro. Hell yeah. Thanks, Gears. Good to see you. Got Good Gears you. and Jared in the chat. Would have loved to see Yoey here. Too yeah. busy playing RuneScape, you know? Yeah, dude. Yoey, he's <laughs> back on the grind, man. The grind never stops. It. No, no XP waste. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. but, uh, this tournament is amazing, man. The Magic Con series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can, they can hear you. <laughs> All right, where's Deej? Where is this guy? He's right over there. He's behind us. All right. Chilling back there. 
All right, I'm gonna, we're going to get Deej on the microphone. There's the Mr. T.O. himself. That's right. That's right, Deej. Here you go, Mr. T.O. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Fellow chat. How's it going, everybody? It's Deej. This it's is me. the man behind the, behind the curtain. He's the man pulling the strings. It's me. DJ, hello. Right. Thanks, uh, thanks, Nate and Bill, for commentating for a lot of the top eight here. Hey, no problem, man. I heard uh, we got a little Chicago raid going in chat. I don't know whoever's right. still here, but uh, thank you all for tuning in. Yep. Um, yeah, it was a great event. We had 25 entrants, now part of the, uh, the Florida Melee Circuit. The so inaugural event. The inaugural event, yeah. And uh, I, I think it went swimming, swimmingly. Yeah, it went really well. Um, and I know there's a couple people here, like Peach Pants and probably Darling too, that yeah. only became because they knew it was part of the circuit. So it's yeah. it's doing exactly what we intended for. So uh, I'm yeah. really glad to see that. Hopefully, um, all of you guys at home. Uh, I see a lot of the West Florida people in the chat that we we're you were always missing you. Yo, we gears, Jared. I know you're in California now. If you could ever make one, that would be insane. I know you've got a few planning because you're a legend. But the rest of you guys, if you could ever make it out, I know that we're, life gets in the way. But we would love to see you at one of these events. Absolutely, and, dude. Like, truly. Yeah, we miss and, you guys. And for uh, I think you know I speak for both of us when I say like the fact that the the homies in Chicago. Tuning in with like almost 100 person strong raid at one yeah. point. Yeah, this is honestly right. the most viewers I've ever had. So it's yeah. a it's a crazy raid to come into. Yeah, it I'm means surprised a they lot. found me. It means yeah, a lot it does to us it does a lot. Yeah, in absolutely. West Florida, that you would support local esports, that you would support the growth of our community and the game that we all love. You absolutely. know, geographic boundaries aside, like we love this game and you love this game, and thank you for giving us the algorithm boost. It's dope. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> Appreciate all of you. All right. Thanks for uh, everybody who stayed in the whole time, too, like people like Jared or Yo. I know Yo's been in here a while, too. Appreciate you guys staying for as long as you do, too, because this is a five-and-a-half-hour stream, so yeah. I know I wouldn't be doing that, so I appreciate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to close out? Yeah, this is it. Uh, Magic right. Conch 11. Um, my name is Nate. I'm West Florida Saver Commentator. I'm on the, the commentary grind. Those of you around the country who are tuning in, you, you're, you might be seeing more of me recently. Or not recently, in the, in the near future. That makes sense, right? You might be seeing more of me in the near future, but I'm trying future. to get my name out there. This yeah. is Deej. He's one of the main playmakers of Florida Melee scene. He's one of the, alongside myself and, and Bill and, and a few others around the state of Florida, we're the guys behind the uh, Florida Melee circuit. Uh, really, every TO in Florida is behind it. So yeah, we're, thank we're you, TOs. The TOs that, do a lot of work, so yeah. It's a huge Definitely collaborative uh, appreciate event. Appreciate them. Collaborative, 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 collaborative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collaborative event. Yeah. yeah. So, um, if you can go support us, if you want to follow, I'm gonna do it. At sure. FMC. If you can follow the Florida Melee uh, circuit, and if you're not already following, if you can follow this guy on Twitch, Twitch.tv/djoy, you're already here. You're already That's watching right. him. Go and drop him a follow. What events do you got? What are they gonna? What can they expect? Yeah, so in Sarasota, obviously we got Magic Conch here every first Saturday of the month. Uh, we also do a bi-weekly called Full Hops, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. Um, that is every other Thursday, um, and that will be. It just happened this past Thursday, so we'll have one in two weeks from from now. So we hey. got those and going on in Sarasota. And, and you for you guys in Chicago, I know plenty of you guys have maybe grandparents in Sarasota, grandparents in Fort Myers. <laughs> That's a really popular thing. I know at least one of you's got grandparents that you're gonna come and visit. If you're down here, stop by one of our tournaments. Hit us up. Hit us up. We're friendly people. We'd love yep. to have you. We're on Just Discord. Just let, let them know Deej sent you. you. You were on the stream. So. Yeah, I guess I could drop a follow. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Shmang. VIP in chat doesn't follow. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, I appreciate note, all of you guys. Yeah. Another Magic Conch in the books. Thank you so much. This is Nate, West Florida's commentator. Yep. And this is Deej. Uh, That's right. West, West Florida's, Florida's TO extraordinaire. TO extraordinaire. Sure. And we're signing out. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys.